So you guys, I clearly was sitting up here watching a Christmas movie. Yes, I am still in the Christmas spirit, the holiday spirit, you guys. But I am first and foremost in the spirit of God. And the Lord is saying as 2023 is fastly approaching, what are you wanting to do? Because I have made all things new. You have a fresh note book with blank pages. And the Lord is saying he's wanting you to fill it up with your visions and provisions. Because this is that time for that newness in you that you have in mind. And I hear the Lord saying, arise and shine. Isaiah 60 and 1, arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Now is that Kairos time. Now is that Kairos moment. The Lord is saying it again. Now is your time to shine. You have a fresh start. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying you even have a fresh start to look the part. There are some different variations and some different gifts and talents that he has placed in you. And the Holy Spirit says, stop holding on to it. Go ahead on and move fast forward in it because you have to recognize that with him, you are on the winning side and you're going to thrust forward. And he says, you're already in it. So know that you are the salt of the earth. And he has already seasoned everything that you need with flavor. And the Lord is saying he has also placed a grace and unmerited favor upon your life. I was just sitting here and I heard the Holy Spirit say vividly, you have walked into your newness. You have walked into your wealthy season. You have walked into your wealthy place. It's going to be a fresh, a new, but the Lord has something so much better waiting for you. And because you have crossed over and because you have entered your phase of your newness and you have entered that next level, the Lord is saying, you don't have to wait until the 1st of January. The time is now. Go ahead on and get started. Now, he who began a good work in you, he will complete it. God is saying, finish what you started. Those books are in that those books that are in you. The Lord said, go ahead on and get started. That YouTube channel that is on the inside of you. The Lord has said, go ahead on and get the blueprint started. The Lord is saying, your gifts are making room for you. But go ahead on and write that vision. And go ahead on and write that provision. Write the vision and make it plain. The time is now. Though it tarries, wait for it, for it will surely come. You have waited. You have been anticipating. And now is that Kairos moment. Now is that time for you to come forth. God had you in mind. And you have been standing in line. And you have come front and center. And now is that time. This is that moment. Arise and shine. Take your rightful place. Take your position. Walk in your newness and walk in your wealthy place. For old things have passed away. The Lord says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Now it shall spring forth. Now it shall spring forth as pure gold. Not only are you embarking upon a new year, you are embarking upon a new you. A new you. The new gifts and talents that have been birthed out in you, you have crossed over. Don't hold on to it. Go ahead on and do it. Do what is in your heart. God has already gave you the blueprint. He wants you to go ahead on and write the vision and go ahead on and get started. He has already gave you the part. He has his hands on you. And trust and know 
that he's going to see you through and that he has made all things brand new. And Lord, I just want to thank you for bringing this rhema word forth. Thank you for this newness that you have placed in our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that old things have passed away. Your word says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Thank you for causing this Kairos moment and this Kairos time for us to step out and be all that you have called, called us and predestined us to be and to be that handcrafted design. Thank you that the very stone that the builders rejected has come forth in that newness as has become a chief cornerstone. God says, no more neglected or tolerated. No more disrespected or separation. But from here on out, acceptance, his grace and unmerited favor. The Lord is making all things new. Be susceptible to walk in all that he has birthed out in you. On your new journey to greatness. In your evolutionary time. Kairos moment. Time to shine of success. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Want to send a shout out to Kim. I definitely, I love the necklace. I love the necklace. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. You guys, I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has absorbed, permeated, flowed, and saturated in your spirit. The Lord is saying all things new. The blueprint has already been worked out for you. He has gave you the new chapters. He has gave you the blank pages to go ahead on and write that vision and provision and go ahead on and get started on what he has placed in birth out of you because you have crossed over. This is it. This is your time to shine. This is your Kairos moment. It is here. God is saying, step out. It's not about to happen. It's happening. It's happening right now. Now, faith. It is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that we cannot see. Old things, they are a thing of the past. God says what he has placed in you now, the newness that he has placed in, into you now, the gifts and the talents that he has placed into you now. He wants to bring that newness forward now. Don't hold on to it. Bring it forth because God has brought you forth and he has his hands on you and you are on a winning side and it will work out and it'll work out for your good. Romans 8 and 28, all things work together for the good of those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. You are here with a purpose, for a purpose and on purpose by his special grace and by his special mercy, by his glory and by his power. He has placed a newness on the inside of you. You have walked into your wealthy place and he has made all things brand new. There is a newness as we are embarking upon a new year. I feel the fire and the power on this word, you guys. I can go on and on and on, but for the sake of this video, you guys. I'm going to go ahead on and stop it right here. I just thank you guys so much for your continuous support. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscriptions. Thank you for continuously keep coming back. I definitely appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Thank you for all the ones who sow into this ministry. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to greatness. Know that I am praying for you once again. I love each and every one of you guys, and we will talk soon on the next one. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you. Take care. We will talk soon. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye.